Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews, and today we are going to take a look at another Safari LTD figure. This is actually an older one, all the way back from 2007, I believe. This was their Allosaurus, and it's a green Allosaurus, as you can see. And I think that the collecting community is kind of split down the middle when it comes to this, because some like it and some don't, but me personally, I love this Allosaurus. It's hard for me not to love an Allosaurus of any kind, but I actually really quite like this one. I think one of the things that a lot of people sort of have a problem with is the fact that it's potentially in a tripod-like position where it looks like it's dragging its tail, but I don't think that's what they meant to do with this. I think that's just kind of the stance that it is in at this point in time, and they weren't implying that it was actually in a tripod position dragging its tail. That's just the moment that this Allosaurus was just kind of maybe chilling, giving off a roar, maybe it's in mid-battle, who knows, but regardless, I still think it looks really, really cool, and I'm excited to take a closer look with you guys, so let's do that right now. So starting up here at the head sculpt, you can see straight away it's really quite nice looking as far as the sculpt and detail of the overall head shape goes, and that eye looks great. It's nothing more than a blackish color, but it's glossed really beautifully and looks really, really nice. Overall, I think the green coloration of the head with that dark eye definitely looks great together. They've done a good job sculpting out things like the ear there. You've also got the nostrils up here. And in general, the overall skin texture of the Allosaurus's face looks great. I really think they've done a beautiful job overall on everything on the Allosaurus. They've even painted the crest up here like a yellowish color. And I think it looks pretty darn nice. Really looks quite beautiful on that greenish head. I think that was a nice choice as far as the coloration of the crest. You can see the teeth look pretty good as well. They're all sculpted quite nicely and there's not really too much sloppiness as far as the teeth go. Maybe a little, little tiny bit, but for the most part it does look really nice and I really quite like that. The inside of the mouth is a nice coloration that's very realistic and I love that they've chosen like a little bit of a brighter pink for the skin flap and then a duller pink for the tongue giving some incredibly nice paint difference and color difference throughout the Allosaurus's head and mouth area. I love that as well. As we start to run down the neck, you can see lots of creases in the skin all over the place pretty much. There is just a ton of movement being shown throughout the neck sculpt of the Allosaurus and in general the entire sculpt. You can see lots of skin wrinkling and bunching of the skin going up on this side because the Allosaurus has its head turned quite sharply to the right and it's really bunching the skin up, so that's beautiful attention to detail on the part of Safari LTD. As you run down the neck, you can see that the skin texture looks great as well. You come down here into the shoulders. The shoulder blade is really nicely protruding from the skin there. As you move down into the arms, the arms and hands look great. The nails might be a little bit too long, but they still look pretty nice, and there's definitely some nice paint application to them. It doesn't look sloppy, and there's a nice glossy appearance to the nails helping to give them a really nice, very realistic shine. You can see the rib cage there, really subtly showing up in the sculpt, and I do like that quite a bit. Beautiful skin texture all throughout the stomach region. And we move up here, you can see the spinal column here running along the animal. Really nice skin texture up there as well. Beautiful hip bone right there. Really nice musculature. And the overall coloration of this is, it looks kind of like it would be maybe like a little boring as far as the green goes. But there's actually a few different variations of green throughout that you almost don't even pick up on. But it's definitely there. There's lighter and darker shades of green, giving it a very realistic appearance as far as skin tone goes, and I really love that. As you move down the leg, there's the calf muscle. Very large, very bulging like you would expect to see. Beautiful bird-like Allosaurus feet with the nicely sculpted and painted nails. They painted the dew claw and everything, so that's awesome. I really, really love that as well. And the skin texture up here in the tail just looks incredible. Look how nice that looks. And again, the variations of green really makes it look beautiful. As you run out the entire length of the tail, the tail is really quite long, comes to a nice curve at the end, and I think it looks quite beautiful. If we look on the opposing side, again, you can pick up on the rib cage there. It's actually been dry brushed with a little bit of a lighter green. To bring that rib cage out and show you that extra bit of detail there just a little bit, you can see the shoulder blade again. Nicely sculpted arms and hands, really nice skin texture the whole way through there. You see the skin kind of bunching up a little bit right there as this leg is pushing into it. 
really nice creases in the skin the whole way down the leg and you can again see the nice muscle tone in the thigh and calf area foot looks really nice over here as well and you can again see some variations of green throughout the underside of the allosaurus and then you've got that beautiful long tail with the nice curve right there unfortunately this figure is retired but i still think it looks quite beautiful especially for its time as far as the size goes on this safari ltd allosaurus it's a fairly small figure from them about seven and a half inches or 19 centimeters in length and for a height about three and a quarter in between three and a quarter and three and a half inches or about eight and a half centimeters for a size comparison there is the papo t-rex and now you can definitely see that this allosaurus is significantly smaller in comparison to the rex as far as a size goes this is a really quite small safari ltd figure as you don't often get them as small as this allosaurus is but considering its size next to the papo rex and giving you that good idea of how small it truly is that should make the detail and sculpt that is included so much more impressive because it honestly is mind-blowing when you get this figure in person and you get a nice close look at it. You can see just how incredibly well sculpted it is. And for the size of it, that is extremely impressive. So over the course of time with me being here on YouTube, I've stated that I love Allosaurus about 465,000 times. So I'm going to say it one more time, and I love Allosaurus. Specifically, this Allosaurus is one of my favorites that I have in my collection. Something about it is just so incredibly nice. There's so much sculpt and detail put into it. It's honestly staggering to look at in person. There is just a ton of sculpt and detail, and I think the head sculpt specifically is really appealing looking to me. It may be a little outdated as to what we think Allosaurus might look like now. It doesn't look really too similar to the more up-to-date 2019 Allosaurus from Safari LTD, but I really love this figure. I have been a huge fan of it from the first time I laid my eyes on it. I think the sculpt and detail on this is incredible, like I said. Everywhere you look on it, it is absolutely sculpted to the max. The paint application is fun. I think it could have been a little better. The green just being kind of green all over is a little bland. I think a little more color difference could have definitely helped it. Maybe even giving it some stripes or something down along the spinal column could have just helped it a little bit because for the most part, it's just kind of a greenish color. And unless you get really close and take a look, you may not even pick up on all the different variations of green included. However, once you do, you get a different appreciation for the paint application of the figure as it is really quite nicely done actually i just feel like that maybe a little bit of a color difference maybe some more variation of color could have been a good thing and helped make this a little more striking but at the same time i really am actually quite pleased with the paint application i definitely think it looks beautiful overall and a potentially realistic coloration as the allosaurus would probably have to be hiding and ambushing prey quite often so for it to have the same type of coloration as the vegetation surrounding it it's again something that i could logically see an allosaurus being so it's not a bad color choice at all on the part of safari ltd so i will link you in the description where you can pick this up for yourself because it is without question an incredible allosaurus from safari ltd so check the description buy this unbelievably beautiful allosaurus if you would like but before you do that don't forget to please like comment subscribe hit that bell to be notified of any future videos and i will see you in the next review thanks for watching